I started making this video two weeks ago with the idea that I love the Bornheim and you should too. It was supposed to be a love letter, and as part of that love letter, the Bornheim was going to be my daily driver until I had enough footage to really show it off. But here's the problem. I was wrong. The Bornheim does need some love, but from Crytek, not us. The headshot mechanic in Hunt means that any weapon can be viable. The only good qualities the Bornheim has are a decent muzzle velocity, a fast reload speed, and a high fire rate. That sounds like a lot on paper, and maybe as a primary weapon that would be worth something, but the Bornheim has too much going against it. The base version is $201, and even that probably needs either the high velocity ammo, which is $90, or the fire ammo, which is $50, to keep things competitive. With the base ammo, it's a three body shot kill weapon, which doesn't sound difficult with the rate of fire, but they recently increased the sway for fast fire rate weapons. So the Bornheim bounces all over the place, and you only have six shots to make it work, five if you reloaded without bullet grubber. And other weapons can do what the Bornheim does, but better, with different ammo and perks. Why would you take the Bornheim over the Nagant Officer, which does more damage, has a higher effective range, is half the price at $96, has 7 shots before a reload, and doesn't leak ammo like a sieve. Sure, it has half the fire rate, but it's much more reliable. The Bornheim has a 380 meter per second bullet velocity, the fastest of the compact and medium pistols. But the uppercut still outclasses it here at 410 meters per second for only 75 more dollars. On top of that, the officer with high velocity ammo also outclasses it, and it's still cheaper. The Bornheim can reload in 3 seconds, but you need bullet grubber if you don't want to lose bullets all over the bayou. And say you were willing to use bullet grubber because you have 6 points to spend, and that would allow you to catch the extra bullets. Wouldn't it just be better to buy fanning for 1 extra point and use one of these pistols? Or you could take the 6 points and spend them on quartermaster and still carry a long weapon and dual pistols. Or don't even buy Quartermaster, use dual pistols, and carry a medium weapon. Then you can have the bullet spam ability and keep your bullets and probably still use less money. The only reliable use case I can see for the Bornheim is as a follow-up weapon when using a long ammo rifle. It has the bullet velocity and bullet spam, but even the quick swap got nerfed, and the officer is just as good for this at half the price. It feels like every new update has slowly erased what made the Bornheim special. Dual pistols can spam bullets. The officer pistol with high velocity ammo is cheaper and has a higher velocity than the Bornheim. Fanning is pretty prevalent and there are harder hitting pistols that can benefit from fanning that are better than the Bornheim. So now you take the Bornheim if you want to light people on fire. And sure, that's pretty fun, but I would much rather feel secure with my secondary pick. I don't want to drop from a 5 star to a 4 star again because I'm being punished for my pick in my pistol. I took a reddit poll to see where people stood on the Bornheim issue. Of 445 votes, 254 felt the Bornheim needed to change. Which is all fine and good, but the more significant result is that 12% of you thought I'm cute. Which, you know, like yeah, when you say it out loud, took me by surprise but I guess we have seen the way we look at each other and like, yeah, maybe I do think you're cute too. And what we feel right now isn't just hormones gone rampant or... Anyway, so the Bornheim needs to change. The only solution I could see Crytek doing is to make it cheaper. Make it $120 and present it as the counter to the officer. The officer is fast and accurate. The Bornheim is faster and spammable. Maybe give it a Deadeye version to make use of that fast bullet velocity. Because right now, the Bornheim kinda sucks. It's an expensive pistol, so dying hurts more. It ejects unspent ammo, so reloading hurts more. It only has 6 bullets on full, so missing hurts more. Every decision you make with the Bornheim is more detrimental to your survival, and it doesn't feel worth it.